What's up, Welcome back to Roads for Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, what? Oh, I don't like when you do that to me, game. I just died because trying to do stuff and the game's punishing me as usual. Apparently, I really need. I need to restore the coal. I need to re. I need to buy more stuff, apparently. Holy cow. Okay, so. I don't think I'm in trouble here. No, it's not anymore. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so I need to find... Oh. These. <laughs> Especially what we're here for is the bounty hunter po po posters. Need to find one more. Shouldn't be that hard. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh I'm gonna study this dog. What are you? It's an American Foxhound. Hey, we need this. Alright, awesome. Alright, where are they located at? Paralyzed Silver Bounty. That's not good. Yeah, it's this way. Okay. I need to pay off that bounty before I do anything. I'm having a bad time. And I lost another point for something. Wait your turn. Almost done. Oh, yeah, it's this guy again. Hello again. I got another one. Then. You interested? I need to pay my bounty here before I do anything else stupid. Well, there it is. I mean, I'll get money back. It's never been a problem you before. You want this now, then, or no? All right. Well, come back. All right, horse. We're gonna go visit the chain gang. They're ready. Hey, boy. Dog mischief. What if they actually killed a guy? I guess it's not our business. There's. Oh, that was easy. Oh, chain gang. Hey, friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's it. We helped. We helped do a thing. Alright, so we're gonna go back in the roads that hates me right now.
And actually, there's a lot of things I need. We're gonna go back to the church. If I go the right direction, which church is actually this way, right past it. And we'll see if we can convince people to get robbed. That's big. Turn it with this one. This one. Hand over your money, mister. Come on now, let's calm down. Shut up! You do what I say. I've got nothing! Please! Now! Uh, come on! Come on! Stop that! Do it again. Stop talking! Okay! This is all I got. Get out of here. Oh, that's the business with you. Christ almighty! Alright, that's number three. Two more to go. Hmm, what are we doing today? What do we have available to us? Actually, let's go to the fence. Time to go, boy. I need to buy more tomahawks and throwing knives because I tried to get my 80 foot one finally. As you can imagine, I failed dramatically. There ain't no need to hide your face, is there? Alright, I need. Beans. Homing tomahawk? Been a minute. Oh, right, can I grab that lion pole trinket? Through. See what you like. Oh, you need something exclusive, huh? I just hope nobody's missing this. Too much. That does. Thanks, partner. Health experience, alcohol, and permanent increase. Oh, stamina. My oh, stamina's almost maxed. Oh, well, thanks. Now that mask okay. Not good news at all. Well, that is unfortunate. Let's do. We're pretty. Well. Take the stage kit to, to uh, Dennis. And go from there. No one can really, I mean, I'm not really worried about anything. I would love to run over more animals, but that's not really an option. Um, else I go the right way, too. I'm really good at going the right way. Come on! I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I try to be better at video games than I think I am. Oh, put that gun away. We don't need people to come after us. We're not bad guys right now. Ain't been too many fiddles, Remove that for now. One of the biggest. Oh yeah, stagecoach is actually more. Don't rush me. I'll get to you. Oh. Sir, good morning. Well, hello again. I got another one. Look at the dentist. You interested? That's my nice go. I don't really care about go. more robberies at the moment. Train rides take a while, but. Alright, don't make noises now. Alright, so we're going to do a mission today because we haven't touched them at all lately. And that will be our primary goal here. Um, 
I think we're doing the question mark one because that's such curious. The serious though is fun. Maybe we'll get lucky with something too. I do have a bounty mission I could do. I need to do five of those. Well, I'll do a bounty mission when it's the one says. Even before I actually don't do it. They do. Um, let's see what our options are. We have Trelawney and the question mark. As much as I want to do... We've got so many stranger missions lately. I'm not too worried about them. Hey, if I didn't need the legendary fish, I'd consider getting rid of that. Alright. Welcome back to the biggest city in the game, I think. Here's the kind of. No, oh, actually, I need to be on, get on good stuff. Here's 25 cents. Go away. Go get yourself some to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Okay. It's nice I'm cool with the fair trade. Out of, I wish this city wasn't as populated. I would try to, uh, you know, rob people. That's what I need to do at this point of the game. But let's go ahead and head towards the question mark. I've not seen Gavin. Leave me alone. All right. Excuse me. Hi, sir. Hey, do I know you? Looks familiar. Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Well. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. 
We must try everything. Come along. I can't even start this Hello. quest yet. Mr. Miller, if the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Hmm. Wait. Isn't that... What is that? I was thinking it was over here. Or that one place is Heartland Oral Fields. This is a very weird mission because I don't. There's no indicators anywhere. I guess we'll just go ahead and visit Trelawney, I guess, at this point. I'm not sure what else I can do. I need to. Of course, these beans are amazing. A lot of people here. Alright, Shalani's right over here. Oh, great. Good old Shalani mission. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear boy. Come along. Okay. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault. I like it. A bitter and jealous people. Look fancy. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. The barber? Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Well, the barber can give you a haircut. Strauss, and the other take take the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you... All of us will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Well, no debauchery. That sounds like you know, a Skyrim mission. You know, everybody's favorite Skyrim mission. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields. And learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No. Want the pomade? Not, not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Get some full styles. Let's go. Make him look like a. Prince, sir. <laughs> With a fork Spartan. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the rocks. 
I've arranged some transportation for us. Get in the coach. Okay. I don't have to drive? Be easy then if I don't have to drive. George! To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad. I don't even look the same at all. It's awesome. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't bring up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? Is he all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. The medical wagon? But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. How did you pull ah, this? this off? Come on, Trelawney. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. No! Oh, Searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a Watch very Strauss, listen to the dealer, it should be a lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Hmm. For the riverboat. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. I don't have any, that's the random cut. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun. Tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Come on, Blackjack. This probably won't be Blackjack. Are you joining us? Oh, this is gonna be Texas Hold'em. That sucks. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Bly. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If focus we all on strong. The same in life now. Where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Bly, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should. Okay, this is easy. <laughs> <laughs> Three queens, wow. Hello, my ladies. Why would you guys go in on that? 
Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but... I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you Girl, have a future that. on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. So you also to go call. all in? Let's go all in. Interesting. Hair cowgirl. That was the lamest poker game ever played. Shit! Shit! I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Oh! Why, I gotta watch. Look at you. An expensive one, real fine. Swiss, a Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play. Oh, we, we're gonna run to three? Okay. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Pocket Kings. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair Kings. Very good, but not Ooh. good enough. <laughs> Shit. Oh no. Uh oh. Yes. Oh, that flush. Beauty. Sweet. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash yeah. these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up. Where's Javier? Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. How did Javier get? You're in having that. quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. Mm. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. I will be taking that. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. 
We know that guy out. Oh, I should have his gun out of his hand. That was my goal. Oh, shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Oh, I want his gun, though. That sucks. Okay. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and oh, we did that a couple episodes off the together. side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Huh? Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> to the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no-good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Wait, is that Dutch? There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> what is happening? That hurts so much. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I'll do a suggest. I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. Ah. I clean forgot. Ah. Gundam. Oh, wait, alligator. Oh my god. This wasn't the play. Okay, it was. Sweet out the back to shore. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. I'm in a great mission to be able to have abilities. Appreciate it, game. Or my weapon so I can do challenges. Six grand. I got 150. Okay, there are two 
missions, apparently. No, I don't want up there. Well, it looks like there's nothing much else to do for this episode. So guys, next time on Red Dead Redemption 2. We go do something. See you then. See where our progress was, though. Not help. Been pretty at 46%.